Welcome to the Delecky Strength YouTube channel. Um, this episode is an introduction to one of our head coaches, uh, Melissa Wu. She's going to tell us a little bit about her, um, her background and what she's currently doing with Delecky Strength. I am an Australian diver and I started when I was 10 years old. My first Olympics was in Beijing 2008 and I was 16 at the time. So I've been to three Olympic Games in total, Beijing, London and Rio. My first podium at the Olympics was at my first Olympics in Beijing. I won a silver medal in the platform synchronized event. So Mel got involved with Delecky Strength when she started doing a lot more of her professional development. So she was doing her fitness certs and strength and conditioning and she needed a place to do um, some of her practical hours and it worked really well because we had the um, gymnastics aspect of training that she was really interested in um, and then so she joined the team. So you've been with us since September last year, mm -hmm. about that time. Um, and she's a really valuable addition to the team because she knows so much about all the acro um, sports side of what we do. Um, but the one thing that's really new is the CrossFit aspect. Yeah, so I've, I really have a really big interest in CrossFit, love watching it. It's something I've um, been getting into more as I've gotten older, I've really valued um, fitness and strength and um, yeah, and especially with the nature of what I do, that's really important as well. So I'm really comfortable on the floor doing all the acrobatic and tumbling type movements, but yeah, before um, starting with the Lucky Strength, never really got on the rings or anything like that. So how long have you been doing CrossFit now? You've done a couple of... Uh, just a couple of sessions. sessions, yeah, I was waiting for some injuries to get better, but yeah, now the road to recovery, so I started CrossFit, really enjoying it so far. And yeah, hoping to get into a little bit of weight, maybe weightlifting as well. Do it all. Do it all. Yeah, why not? For your main skill, you're going to learn one um, typical CrossFit skill. So what's that going to be? So I really want to learn a keeping muscle up. Um, I've learned how to do it strict and I've got a lot of, uh, I think, pulling strength. But yeah, for me, technique and learning how to move properly on the rings is something I need to work on. So you can follow Mel's journey of um, how she learns that keeping muscle up and then if that's applicable for your journey, you'll be able to follow on and kind of um, learn from Mel as she does hers. Okay, so we just saw Mel doing her first attempts at a keeping muscle up. Um, and she's got some really good things going on. So she's got a very good and really neat Superman swing and a hollow swing. So she knows how to transition from the hollow, uh, sorry, from the Superman to the hollow swing. Um, but what I can see straight away that's not happening enough is she's not getting her hips up enough um, afterwards. So like a secondary hips up is kind of missing from her muscle up. So we've basically got the nice two shapes, Superman, hollow and then she's straight away going into the pull and if you have a look at that rep again what happens is the pull ends up being too uh, close to her chin or shoulder height and it really needs to be down um, closer to the hips. So we're just going to take a look at a couple of drills and, um, and work through them with Mel so we're going to work on ring row with feet elevated and then also just do a lot of um, drills and technique on her swing to help her get her hips up. So need some training. Yeah, Sunday. It's just... I haven't seen So I haven't really done a lot of this, so I'm just getting used to how to do it, the right kind of body movements. Awesome. This is so much harder than a strict one, I reckon. So this has things I'm going to really focus on once my hips come through, trying to extend them and get them up a bit more instead of staying too much in that hollow position. Yes, yeah, yeah, hey! Yeah, that was better, okay. Yeah, okay, so what, what did you change then? Okay, so 
took Ev's great advice to wait for the toes in front of me uh, when I close them to then open them back up again and continue the swing as I pull. That was good. So we've done a couple of sets of the swings with the hip hop and Mel has really picked that up very quickly. You can tell she's a very fast learner, so she's, she's already um, nailing that now, which is good. And now what we've done is changed up the ring row as well with the feet elevated and made it a little less strict. So we're trying to get her to also use her hips for that, um, but maintain the pull in the right direction down towards the hips. So it looks like this. Nice, that's good. Really good. So I thought that was really productive for Mel's first session of keeping muscle ups. I'm going to let her go off and practice that for a week before she comes back again. Next week we're going to do a lot more um, stability drills on the rings and then later we'll just move into specific transition drills. Uh, that's going to be the final piece before we start to put it together um, and she can start attempting keeping muscle ups again. This week we're going to work a lot more on some shoulder stability um, so that way when I do get my hips up in my keeping muscle up I've got the confidence to then catch um, once I'm over. So yeah, going to work really hard on that part today and then hopefully put it all together to get the muscle up finally. Uh, so I'm just going to start with some uh, top of the dip holes and also do some bottom of the dip holes and then maybe make that a bit harder by bringing the arms out a little bit to uh, work on that shoulder stabilisation and uh, yeah, building confidence in that position. This week focus a lot more on drills. I feel a lot more prepared this week. So in this drill, we've got Mel doing like a transitional drill on the floor. She's She's got the rings above her. And the important thing to know with a lot of the drills that you might do for a skill is they're not always going to align or mimic the skill perfectly. So on this drill, we're really getting her toes to come up too high, way too high than you would in a muscle up. And we're getting her to kind of bridge and arch a lot more than she'll need to in the muscle up as well. But that's not the point. The point isn't to mimic the muscle up exactly. It's to um, get a stimulus, a specific stimulus for the client that exactly the way that they need it. So with Mel, we just need her working on her hips. So what we've done is created a drill just to focus on the hips. Let's go. Feet, hips. The hips really need to come off the floor and into the spot. Feet, hips. That's better. Heaps better. Yeah. Yeah. If you can exaggerate that a little bit more. A bit more be, hips. Yeah. 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 Good, good, good. And then really fast on the turnover. Yeah. Cool. How's that feel? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, better. I'm ready for Mel to start attempting keeping muscle ups again. I think she's going to get it by the end of the session. We're going to recap on her swing a little bit. We're going to do a few spotted reps and then I'm going to let her have a practice for about 20 minutes and we'll see. That was a really successful um, a progression to the kipping muscle up with Melissa. The key thing though, so she did that in basically like two and a half, three weeks. The key thing that you need to focus on there is that she could already do a strict muscle up. That is the key. If you're going to try to follow any type of kipping muscle up progression and you really can't do a strict muscle up and you can barely do a strict pull up, you are not going to be able to replicate um, anything close to those results. So that's the key. Make sure you're following a program that is actually going to help you to hit a strict muscle up first and then you can go ahead and start working on your technique and stuff for your keeping muscle up. Guys, we hope that really helped you. I hope that you got something out of that for your journey for the muscle up and you finally got to meet um, another team member of Delecky Strength. So look out for more videos from us on the YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe and like this video. That would help us out a lot. And we'll see you in the next one.